Welcome to GTA San Andreas Part 23. In this part, we're going to start Doberman. And this will also be the start of another game mechanic that will show up twice in this game. And not only that, it will also unlock the ammunition. That is something I can actually spoil right away, because eventually we'll have to unlock ammunition. Even though you can find guns just lying around the city if you explore the area enough. So long as you don't leave uh, Los Santos or Red County for any reason. But nonetheless, we're going to be headed over to Ammunition where Sweet's Mission is stationed to start the mission Doberman. So at least I will have the ammunition unlocked. And no, there is no cutscene, so I can actually talk over this. You see, on top of the fact that ammunition is now available, we now have the Turf Wars available. And Turf Wars in this game actually are mandatory for 100% on top of that eventually once you've beaten any mission available with the turf wars you will have a revenue coming in on your turf so technically speaking we're going to be killing ballers for literal money now it's time for me to go buy some rounds for the shotgun because I can't keep risking jail time killing off cops. Even though that is funny to mess with the cops, at least you'll be able to buy the guns that you happen to have available. Have a piece for every occasion. And as you can see, the AK is not available. However, the shotgun and the sawn off shotgun is. Now the sawn off shotgun, eventually I'll show where that is so you can get free ammo for that. I didn't sell you this, right? And I mean eventually, like, somewhere on the line, because right now we don't really need the shot, sawn off shotgun. Because this gun is actually the best shotgun out of the... Okay, let me rephrase that. The second best shotgun out of the three, until you get the combat shotgun. The wars are coming, you hear? Now... We're gonna have to go over to Glen Park, and Glen Park is a pretty long way. Now here's the problem with our little endeavor for this mission. Normally, every mission you have will have a GPS. Sadly, the mission will not only be unmarked, but there's no sort of GPS or anything on the map. You just have to literally drive to Glen Park the best way you know how. And until you actually get to Glen Park, there won't be an indicator of anything. So with that said, I will meet you guys when I make it over to Glen Park. I am mistaken. Apparently, the radar will sh Not apparently, the radar actually shows you where Glen Park is. When you're close to Glen Park, like from Pershing Square. It is a green dot in a sea of purple. You can't really miss it. Lynn Park is in the possession of the ballers at this point. Now, as for what we're about to do, not only is this 100% mandatory for the game, however, it is mandatory to complete the game because there's some missions that require you to take a certain percentage of territories. Now, for how to start a gang war, it's real simple. You can either kill ballers, or dealers or both. Oh, and make sure you kill the cops, because the cops is going to be in your way. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, and make sure you pick up the money that the ball is leave behind. But one thing about these missions, not one thing, several things about this mission you need to know. One, this is the easiest one. Every other gang war after this. The Ballas and Vagos, yes, you're going to have to deal with the Vagos as well, will have more powerful weapons than what we are right now. 
Another. Also, I just sent another. Also, I apologize for that. But also, they will bring in a car which will do a drive-by. And while I'm at on the subject of this particular uh, site mission. Make sure you pick up body armor and health that's left behind. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. But more importantly, get yourself a vantage point because you will be surrounded by either ballers or bobbers. And whatever you do, get guns that are on Hitman. Now later on in the game, you'll have access to more powerful guns. And they can actually get the job done. More frankly, you'll be you'll have access to the minigun, but that's for later on in the game. Right now, it's time to fl well, since we flushed out Little Weasel, Little Weasel should be showing up right about after the next uh, text shows up. Oh, and as the text also says, you'll have to defend your territory. If you die, the ballers will claim that territory. Just thought I'd point that out. You'll end up having to take them all out in order for you to keep your territory from being under constant attack. And the more territories you earn, the higher the revenue is at your safe point, it will be. It could go up to $10,000. Oh, and just for the record, sorry little weasel, but you should have known better than the side with 10 penny. You're done. Oh, yeah. With all the chaos happening here, this is RV985. See you guys for part 24. When we take on Caesar by Apondo's missions and accidentally kill homies and ballers. Oops, my bad. See you guys for part 24.